Welcome to Reaper, a brief introduction. First, double click the Reaper icon. That's how quick you're up and running. Reaper supports a wide variety of audio file formats, sample rates, and bit depths. All of these can be mixed together in the same project without requiring a time-consuming import process. Simply drag and drop, even while playing or recording. Customize your workspace with preset or user-created themes, or design your own. Tab between docked windows and save screen sets for quick access to frequently used layouts. Use channel aliasing to give your audio hardware inputs and outputs easy to recognize names. Reassign inputs, ARM, and disarm recording channels on the fly. Record channel input, output, MIDI, or record disable for monitoring functions only. Use the routing matrix to quickly view and modify I.O., sends, and assignments. Switch between takes on single items, multiple or grouped items, and even non-contiguous grouped or selected items. View lanes to quickly comp vocal tracks consisting of multiple takes. Split the performances needed and simply click a lane to make it the active take. Switch out a lane's view and your assembled track is finished, playing only the selected takes. Record from a variety of sample rates and file formats, including directly to compressed formats. Punching in Reaper is easy with a variety of options to tailor it to your workflow. Shown here is auto punch selected items. As long as record is active, Reaper is recording to the ARM channels. This is a lifesaver if you selected the wrong punch points. Automatic crossfades make adjusting your punch transitions a snap. Reaper supports various speed playback and recording. Here is a guitar recorded at half speed, then played back at full speed. No need to change tools. Creating and editing crossfades is as easy as dragging the mouse. Choose from a variety of fade shapes. Stereo channel modes can also be set to left only, right only, reverse stereo, or mono summed. Open single or multiple selected items in your choice of supported editors for destructive or non-destructive editing. lets you safely audition tricky edits. Ripple editing allows quick assembly while maintaining inter-item relationships further down the timeline. Quickly rearrange your song by simply dragging regions around. Double up choruses and reorder song structure in seconds. Typing in the effects filter list allows you to get right to the VST, DirectX, Rewire, or JS plugin you are looking for. Chains of effects can be saved or recalled and shared across tracks and projects. Plugin settings and bypass states are also saved in the chain. You can even drag and drop plug-in and plug-in chains from one track to another.
Create your own folders to more easily organize your favorite effects. Access the I.O. window for setting up buses, sends, and returns between channels. Each send can be set pre or post effects, pre or post fader, and contains level, phase, and pan settings. Each track features 64 internal track channels for creating Y chords, bolts, and side chains. Shown here is the common kick side chains bass guitar compression trick. Audio and MIDI items can both be contained on the same track. Here, Regate is using a supplied audio input to create a MIDI item. This item can then be edited and with the help of a sampler can be turned back into audio as seen here. Take note, as in this example, that audio and MIDI items are coexisting on separate lanes. This was just a brief demonstration of Reaper's capabilities. For more info, please visit reaper.fm or reaperaudio.com.